Phuket Extra is brought to you by Coast Beach Club and Bistro at Centara Grand Beach Resort. Chill in the sun, sip under the stars. Salute crap and welcome to Phuket Extra, brought to you by Coast Beach Club and Bistro at Centara Grand Beach Resort Phuket. I'm JP Mistanza, and could we have an increase on the VAT tax? Well, let's start off with this first. A mansion overlooking Patong Bay in the hills of Patong is set to be demolished with the land returned back to the government after officials reclaimed the area, saying the structure was encroaching on the land. About 20 law enforcement officers arrived at the mansion yesterday, checking the area and posting a sign that said the 69 Rye plot is now Sopokol government-owned land to be handed over to poor farmers for their use. Officials say the Supreme Court back in 2007 had ruled that the previous owner, the late Banlue Tantiwit, who had previously served as president of the Phuket Provincial Administrative Organization, well, he falsely applied for the land, claiming he was a poor farmer. Now, the caretakers have been given 30 days to remove all the structures on the land. And could the VAT value-added tax rise to 8%? That's the idea that Prime Minister Prayu chan is floating around, saying it would bring in about 100 billion baht to Thailand. Currently, the VAT is at 7%, and Finance Minister Apisak Tanti Vora Wong had stated that number would remain the same. But during a gathering at a school in Prachenburi, the PM said a 1% increase on the VAT would also increase the government budget and, quote, it can then be used to fund what members of the public are calling for. Though officials insist the country is not broke, the suggestion to raise the VAT is partly due because, as the PM says, high government expenses are looming in the future with upgraded transportation and infrastructure projects in the works. And calls are being made for authorities to expedite their investigation into the murder of a student at his dormitory last month. It all stems from an incident on February 15th in which a group of about 18 young people were allegedly involved in an attack at the dorm in Silpacon University in Pechaburi, which left 24-year-old student dead after he was beaten and stabbed in the head with a screwdriver. Two others were also hurt in the attack. All of the suspects turned themselves over to police days later, and 15 people were taken into custody, charged initially with premeditated murder, though they were released on bail, according to reports. Police later learned that the attack itself started after one man allegedly hurt the feelings of one of the group's girlfriends, and the man who died was just a friend who was there. Now, the Deputy National Police Chief is ordering local authorities to quickly transfer the case over to the Crime Suppression Division after it was learned that several of those suspects are the sons of influential local people. This case is ongoing. And sit tight, Phuket Extra will be right back after this. Safe Fertility Center Phuket is the International Fertility and Women's Health Clinic. We offer diagnosis and treatment of infertility, IVF, ICSI, pregnancy, reproductive system disease, and cancer. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. Thai officials might be getting close to finding 23-year-old Russian national Valentina Novozhonova, who was last seen on February 15th at her hostel in Kotao. The investigation led them to the water as teams of rescue divers had been scouring the sea to find clues. And earlier this week, they did find a few things. They found uh, articles of clothing, underwater glasses, flip-flops, and bit of what is being described as flesh and bone. Police say they're having the evidence tested, though other reports indicate that the body parts might be too degraded for testing since it's been in the sea for far too long. Now, authorities are turning their attention towards a diving buddy, a man who is due back to Kotao next week. Meanwhile, family and friends are waiting on pins and needles to hear word of what exactly happened. And enjoy Uber and Grab while you can, as officials nationwide are cracking down on the online taxi hailing apps, claiming it's all for safety reasons. The crackdown began last week in Chiang Mai, as law enforcement and local officials would hail a taxi using one of the apps. 
and then they would arrest a driver once they arrived. 23 drivers have so far been arrested in the operation. Thai law states that taxi drivers must have a public transport driving license in addition to having their car registered as a taxi. It's all part of the Vehicle Act meant to ensure drivers and their cars are up to snuff. Meanwhile, Uber is asking Thais to sign a petition on its website urging the government to provide amendments to the law in a bid to include taxing hailing apps. So far, 15,000 signatures have been collected and they're aiming for 20,000. And that's it for Phuket Extra today. Catch us on Phuket Extra Extra tomorrow where we'll catch you up with five top stories of the week. And then catch us again on Monday where we'll catch you up with all the news you missed over the weekend on Phuket Extra. Until then, Stay classy, Phuket.